Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to review the all new Cressy Aura fins that we've got available on our site. So let's just move this guy out the shot and dive into the other guy over here because the fins are the same. So we only need to discuss one because what I discussed with this is the same as that. So let's start at the back and work our way to the front. First thing we notice with the fins is it comes with Cressy's new bungee cord strap. And I really like the bungee cord straps. So much better than those old ones that you had to pull and tug. These bungee cords work really, really well. So it's got a nice big loop at the back there for you to grab and pull. Top tip from me is whenever you're on a boat, it's always best to pull that back and down towards the bottom there. So when you slide your fin in, it's very easy just to pop it up and then you're good to go on your dive. The bungee cords are ideal because as you go deeper and everything compresses, the bungee cord pushes in against your foot so the fin doesn't flop around as much. The foot pocket here is made of a thermo rubber, meaning that the outside sections over here are a lot softer compared to the inside foot pocket, which is a lot harder. That makes it a lot more comfortable on your foot around this area. So when you fin down, it doesn't catch the top of your foot like some of the other fins on the market. So the foot pocket on the inside is quite standard. But when I flip around to have a look at the back of the fin, you can see there is a number of raised nodules over there. So that'll give you a little bit more grip if you're walking over the back of a boat to go do a giant stride into the water. The fin itself has got these really big grooves down the side and that gives a lot of rigidity to the fin as you fin through the water. And Cressy have also mulled out grooves through the fin blade itself. You get a hard blade and a soft blade version of this fin. Uh, in South Africa we're only selling the hard blade at the moment due to the conditions that we dive in. But the hard blade is still really, really comfortable. You see there's still quite a bit of flex in this fin for you to fin down. But the grooves or channels that they've put in over here go a long way to channel the water down the center of the fin. And on the back side, they've got some raised uh, gullies over here. So raised sections that also give the fin a lot more rigidity and they help channel the water down towards the bottom. And you can see the design that they've put in the top of this fin over here. As that fin cuts away, that stops the fishtail motion of a fin going through the water because it allows water to travel out through that section. The fin doesn't scoop, it doesn't conform very, very much at all. So it's a very flat blade as you fin down. But that gives you quite a lot of propulsion through the water. You can see from an angle of attack point of view, it's your standard, probably about 25 degree angle that it's got there. So it's not a very, very sharp angle. So as an overall good fin, this will work very, very well. It's quite a long flat blade, which will give you quite a lot of propulsion if you needed to swim in a hurry to get somewhere, or if you were fighting a very, very strong current. I have tested these fins in open water. I can say they are quite stiff. It takes a little bit of getting used to when you compare it to some of the other fins in the Cressy range. So the reactions and frog pluses tend to be very, very soft. This is a much more rigid fin. But once you get used to it, it's really good. I uh, especially liked the fact that when you frog kick, the frog kick section is really, really strong on these fins because they hardly move at all. So you get a lot of propulsion when you're frog kicking through the units themselves. So uh, the fins themselves work really well. They come two in a pair. And uh, something to note, they are what I refer to as omnifootical, meaning the left foot can go in the right foot and the right foot can go in the left foot and it really doesn't make a difference. You just put it on, pop them on and off you go for your dive and they'll work really, really well. So there is the review of the Cressy Aura hard blade fin that we've got available on our site. It's quite a hard blade as we said, but it's really indestructible. There's not much which is going to break on this. So I'm sure that this is a pair of fins that you would buy and you'd keep diving them for life. So, if you guys are enjoying these product reviews, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? Go over there and click subscribe and we'll keep you up to date with all the funky reviews that we do on these products on an ongoing basis. You can also go check out our social streams. Give scuba.co.za a search and we're bound to come up on Instagram and Twitter and scuba, Facebook and all the others. We're, we're bound to be there. We put interesting things there on an ongoing basis. So that's it from me guys and I look forward to seeing you in the water really soon.